music for Egypt. Nile FM. That's John Legend and used to love you right here on Egypt's number one for hit music, Nile FM. Is Zainab here with you? And it's all about those good vibes only. Guess what? The day is finally here. Now, I've been telling you all week I've got a guest coming in and I'm bit by bit. I've been giving clues who it is. And I'm super happy that the moment is finally here, right? She's in the Nile FM studio with me and I'm going to give you a few more clues. Now, I could tell you that she entertained us this Ramadan in one of the funnest series is I've seen in a really long time. In fact, it was my highlight of Ramadan 2023. Was it 2023? Yes, <laughs> it was 2023. Oh, I'm losing the plot. But you know what? She was also in something else before that. If you were finding her oddly familiar, you would know that she was in the affair with Khaled El Nebawi and Sally Shaheen. She played the daughter and I watched that as well. I, it's just becoming really clear to me that everything that she does, I seem to have fallen upon and actually watched from start to finish. And that's why I'm super excited about having her in the studio today because she's going to have to sit down and tell me all about her journey, specifically because she's so young and I'm in so much awe of her achievements at such a young age. I've got Lena Sophia Benhamen in the Nile FM studio. We're going to be talking about her career journey. I've got so many questions and I'm going to try and keep it fun. I've switched the music around, Lena. I know you. she's looking in the corner there. She knows she's not going to speak just yet and she's just enjoying the music and bopping along. But I want her to be ready for the kind of questions that I've got for her. But first, we're going to head back to the music right after this. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. I have a guest that has entertained us a great deal this Ramadan with Dina Shirbini, the veteran actress Isaid Yunus, Shif Salema, in Kamil Al Adad. And if you thought she looked familiar, you weren't wrong because she was in The Affair as well. Yes, she left a massive, massive impression on me specifically. And I'm going to tell you the reason why very shortly. She has proven that she's a talent to look out for. And in a short space of time as well. So I'm getting to sit down with her and really kind of Set, you know, talk about the nitty gritty of how her career happened, what's going on, what we're to expect. And uh, I'm really, really happy to tell you that Lena Sophia Benhamen is here with me in the Nile FM studio. Hello, Lena. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. What have you been up to? Um, nothing much. I mean, I've been excited to be here and talk to you for a while now. I always feel so special when people say that to me. <laughs> I've been really excited to come in. Oh, I'm, going, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm something to look forward to. <laughs> I'm not always, I'm, I haven't been speaking Arabic like for a long time. Yeah. I've always used to listen to Nile FM. It's the only radio that I used to understand. So, um... Thank you for having me. It is a pleasure. I was loving the fact that we've got some things in common. Now, you, if I know this correctly, you're half Egyptian, half Moroccan French, right? Yeah. I'm half Irish, half Egyptian, which means we both have middle names. Mm, now, yeah. you are Lena Sophia. I am Zain Abdella. I know how confusing it can be yes. <laughs> for you people. Know, you know I have two middle names? That's two middle names. Confusing. I only have the one. No, I have Lina Sophia and then Aisha. Lina Sophia Aisha. That's how it's written. But on that's kind of cute. Word. I like that. Really? Because if you think about it, all three names are really pretty, and then they're they're like right next to each other. Yeah, yeah. They, they look nice together. Yeah, like Zayn Abdella, not no, so no, pretty. It's nice. it's, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Zayn Abdella. I like it, it. like Zayn Abdella. Otherwise, do you know what I've recently found? My uh, found out this little story. My mom was telling me the story that a friend of hers was helping out with the middle names situation and initially my mother wanted to call me Zainab Ann and then her friend had to be like in Arabic that doesn't sound too great and she was like what she was like Zainab Ann <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god imagine could you think it would have been not good no, not no, good no. Right? I prefer Zainab Dela <laughs> Zainab Dela will do just fine you know what? for me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. now I'm really excited to be talking to you about your career because you started out really young i'm i'm gonna put a guess on this were you about seven years old or something well um big projects and acting in egypt was when i was about six seven but i actually started commercials when i was four years old so 11 years ago like like, since, like yeah. i mean do you even have a memory of that like i don't remember not acting i don't remember not being in front of the cameras just the camera has always been there 
I get you. I get you. It would be weird if it wasn't at this exactly, point, right? Exactly. So I guess it's just it's absolutely pointless for me to be asking you like when did you know because it was before you even no, knew exactly. how to speak practically <laughs> you were doing this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like um I don't know, like the first time I went on set, I remember um I was about 4 years old and there was a commercial yeah. and I just fell in love with it. I just like I can be a very shy person around people. Yeah. But if there's a camera it changes everything. I I'm not shy. Do at all. you do a Beyonce where you mm. know suddenly on stage she's Sasha Fierce? <laughs> Is this one you're yeah, telling kind of me? like I don't know. You just put a camera and I'm like I'm here. Exactly. Sasha. <laughs> Sasha. Exactly. <laughs> Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But first, we're going to head back to some more music. Now, let me tell you, I was telling you this earlier. I love Wednesdays because I get to choose the music. Okay. So we go back a little bit in time. So we go a little bit old school. And I have already noted, you knew The Boy Is Mine by Brandy yeah, and did. Monica. I think you're going to know this one. It's a Justin Timberlake one. Are you ready? I love Justin Timberlake. Great. Here Let's he go. is. Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM. And that's Usher, and uh, you make me wanna right here on Egypt's number one for him music, Nile FM. Is Zainab here with you, and it's all about those good vibes only. I am not in the Nile FM studio by myself. Yes, I've got Lena Sophia here with me in the Nile FM studio. How you doing over there? Hi again, how are you? You good? Yeah, yeah. You've been enjoying the music. Yeah, I can I'm see it. <laughs> I, I see forgot it. the interview. We did a little mini tutorial of how I work the system for a little bit there. I think by the end of this, you've got my job. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to steal it from her. You, oh, I could see that. Look in the eye. I could see it. I, she means business. She really does. Now, a little earlier on, we were talking about the fact, well, that you started at the age of four with ads and then... We're talking about around six, seven mm -hmm. is when you kind of did something much bigger. And we're talking about the movie Hipta, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know how that happened. How did you get that part? You know, was there an actual audition process or did you get discovered walking down the street? What was going on there? Well, when I used to do ads in uh, Tunisia, I lived there because of my dad's work. Okay. Um, uh, there, there's a film director that wanted to like sign a five-year contract with me, but mm -hmm. I had to come back to Egypt at some point. So I told him, "No, sorry, I have to <laughs> go back to my country." You know. <laughs> I got to go. Yeah, I got to go. And um, and but he gave us the address of a casting agency in Egypt. Yeah. And the day that I went, it was just a free day, so I was like my, with my mom. Why not? Like, let's go. And uh, we went there, and it was the uh, the day of the audition. So I feel like it was it was meant. It was to meant be. to be. It was fate. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember much around of that time? Do you remember if you were nervous or if you were happy or what was going on in your mind, or was it just too uh, long? It, it was my first audition. Yeah. I was really excited, but I was very very nervous. And you know, they give you the script like five minutes before you enter, so it was really hard. A pressure. Yeah, it was <laughs> a lot of pressure. Oh. And uh, but but I I. Uh, yani, I got the role, alhamdulillah. <laughs> you got it. You, you sure did. You were cute. You were so cute. Can I thank just say, you, you. I have done, and I've been telling Lena this earlier, you know, I've done a fair amount of stalking, okay? And I found an interview that you did after you did that part. You were so tiny, so <laughs> tiny and the cutest thing. But what really hit me at such a young age, you were like seven years old doing this interview. It was a TV interview. Mm -hmm. But you were so well-spoken and you really knew what you were talking about. And I was like... I don't even remember half the stuff that came out of my mouth when I was around that age. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't that mature. So, I mean, I was super, super impressed by that. Yeah, my my Arabic was pretty bad. It was really, really bad. But okay. I, but I I, uh, I knew what I was talking about. I don't know why, but my, I, I grew up my whole life. My parents, we, we didn't have like the children's table and the, the adult table. We all used to sit together. We always used to talk. We always used to do yeah. debates, fight and stuff like that. So like, um, I think I've always been more mature than my age. Mm -hmm. But um, so I which definitely helps when it comes to acting, doesn't it? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it does because you can be doing the role of a, a child, but you have to be smart enough to know what to do. Yeah. So uh, yeah, looking younger when your brain is older. Older. Yeah, exactly. So I think it, it does help. Do I look young? <laughs> <laughs> like it's about you're, no, you're no, putting no. in ideas in my head. She does, she does. Can I play <laughs> Can an I play? eighteen year old? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I found my calling. Yeah, maybe. 
All right, I've got more questions on the way for you. We've got Mario and P. Diddy and Enya coming up next with I Don't Want to Know. Are you ready to hear this one? Yeah. Here we go. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. I almost feel like we could have done a TikTok to that. Yeah, we should have. Right? (laughs) I know you're an avid TikToker. I'm just putting ideas into your head. Uh, I don't know how we're going to swing it. I'm going to try a few dance moves. I might (laughs) fall. (laughs) Wait, guys, wait for after this. You're going to see a lot of TikToks. Yeah, coming soon. Coming soon. To a screen near you. Exactly. TikTokers. Mm -hmm. Lena Sophia and Zainab (laughs) Della. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Uh, so earlier on me and you were talking about you know the first like big screen let's put it movie Mm -hmm. that we see you in is at the young age of about what seven yeah and it's hipta and the memories i'm really surprised that you have actual full-on memories you can remember that point i I have a lot of nice memories were there like was there a specific highlight of that particular behind the scenes time in in that movie that you kind of like really stands out to you I think um, I also fell in love with film directing while uh, filming this movie. I kind of feel like that's an actor's <laughs> thing that happens, right? It's yeah, like it in, almost inevitable if you do this, eventually you're going to fall in love with that as yeah, well. Of course, because um, behind the scenes, there's so many jobs that don't have anything to do with each other. They yeah. all have one goal at the end. And it's like very fascinating to, to just watch and see... I've also I've always found editors really fascinating because they're they're not there they're not on set when everything is going on like the work comes to them afterwards and they've yeah. just got to kind of almost like put everything together and create the mood. Mm-hmm. They know everything. I don't yeah. know how, but they, and they probably hear our secrets because we always have the mic and we always talk like this. And oh like, yeah, then forgetting yeah, the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they hear everything. They know everything. They know our secrets. It's like the trust circle yeah, <laughs> at this exactly. point in time. So yeah, and another like highlight was the premiere, of course. I yeah. think that's when I, I was like, oh my god, I succeeded. I'm Beyonce. I I can retire after this. You know, I was like, yeah. oh, oh my god, like everyone wants to take a picture. I have me. arrived. I have arrived exactly. <laughs> and no, no, no. This this movie was very successful, and it was like, it was unbelievable. It was. It had a huge cast as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. really, and it, it really impressed me because there was it was the first time that I could see a whole bunch of different actors mm-hmm. together in one movie. So yeah. it was kind of cool in that sense as well. Yeah, and it was originally a book. Yeah, so, and it was really successful uh, romantic book, and so all the couples would go and watch uh, this movie. Yeah, and uh, so like in America, people go to Disneyland, and in Egypt, they would go to that movie together. <laughs> they would go yeah. to Hip Dad. Uh, yeah, exactly. After that, you went on to you, I think you did an episode for Heza Maset. Was that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Do you want to tell me about that? What was that? Yeah, I played the role of the daughter of the two main characters, which were Ustaz uh, Nasor and then Ustaz Arwa Guida. And um, yeah, it was re- it was really interesting um, uh, experience because the film director Ustaz Temur Mahsin, he's a really really big film director, and just watching him work was was wow. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How did you feel like being with, I mean, at that point, you've been in like two different things mm-hmm. and, you know, really impressive actors to be around. Like, how did it feel at that point in time, at that age? Did you kind of, did you feel like starstruck at any point or did it make you feel like you were under pressure to, to kind of like bring your A game? What what was that feeling like? No, it was more of a like, I was just like, ob- like observing. It was just really fascinating. I used to watch them, how they used to like get into character you were taking and notes act. yeah exactly exactly <laughs> taking notes for now so, yeah 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 no but it was it was just it was it was wow obviously i was starstruck like do you imagine like, people that i you mean see yeah, on the th- TV? there's so many lists after that because you've got you know mirvet amin you've worked with them as well you know i mean these are huge names they're, yeah. they're, they're like iconic so i always wonder like did any of them kind of give you like words of wisdom was there ever, ever like a moment like that uh, um, I think I, I can't remember something like specific, mm-hmm. but we used to. Uh, I used to pl- like, for example, with says um, Amirvet Amina says you have Um They were my family, so I actually felt like they were my family for four months. We used to kind of live in Marsa Alam together. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So they were like my family. I mean, um, it w- it was it was really like um, it was really interesting and really like fun to to 
act with I get them. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like it's not advice, but it's just because you've been with them, you'd been with them for so long on a daily basis and they were older. It's like the way they cared for you, there were little lessons in there. Exactly, exactly. I get what you mean. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a short while and we're going to head back to some more music <laughs> right now. Christina Aguilera is up next. Are you ready? Yeah. Ain't no other man. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. I am not alone in the Nile FM studio. I've got the wonderful, beautiful actress, Alina Sophia Binhamen, uh, with me in the Nile FM studio. I like the fact that I keep saying your surname just to let you know, like, I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> the first one, I swear, I love you. Oh, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> now, we've been talking about, you know, the early stages of your career. And there's something that's been like on my mind whilst we've been having this conversation, which is how has it been with your like, you know, because you're still studying. Yeah. I, you're still I, at school. You're doing your stuff. And I'm very proud of you for that. You know, <laughs> it must be really difficult, like juggling school and shooting. Like I know, especially when you were doing the, the latest series, you know, you were definitely mid school yeah, you know yeah, we were. how will you make you know how do you make that balance uh well um i don't i, I don't think it's i feel like when i am shooting i'm better at school because i have it's more You're organized focused. for me yeah it's okay. more organized for me like i have for example i have shooting at 7 p.m i'm going to study from 7 a.m till the time of, that i have to go to shooting so I, I feel like i'm more organized when i do have shooting Okay. Uh, so I'm better at school when I... I'm and, at school. and they managed to, like, work around you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, they were very uh, open and very um, flexible with shooting. They would uh, do a lot of exceptions for us because we are seven kids with seven different uh, school systems. They would... They would. Um, they they did a really good job. They just so that you know, we're talking about Kemal Adat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We and I remember, like, I remember seeing like a little post. You did like a nice little thank you uh, yeah. post to the executive director. Yes, yes. So uh, that's Sora. She was. She's a superhero. Yes. I swear. I don't know how she did it, but she was. Sora Gemen, shout out to you. Mm. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> they Honestly, really do. We we do. We all do. We love her more than she knows. I swear. Oh, bless. How was it, though, at school? Like, did you kind of, like, were, were kids at school being cool about it? Were they being supportive? Or did you, have you kind of, like, over the years felt like that perhaps you were getting bullied or they weren't really understanding? There was a little bit of jealousy there. What was it like? Yeah, yeah. In the beginning, they were, there 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 was bullying, of course. There they will be. <laughs> it was going to happen with or without the acting. Yeah, exactly. uh, let's just <laughs> let, Let's just be clear about that. Like, bullying is just a part uh, of this part exactly, of our lives. Exactly, exactly. If you don't get bullied at school you're gonna get a bullet at summer camp at some point etc et yeah, yeah. yeah at work exactly yeah. so uh, t uh i say two years without acting i don't know what happened but i used to do auditions but i just didn't get roles that's just it just happens yeah and these two years were like there was a lot of bullying dur during these two two years mm -hmm. and um yeah it was really really hard for me and uh, uh i was i used to not want to go to school i used to cry a lot but it, it got better and and uh, uh, there was a little bit of bullying for the affair because okay. of the role that That's I did. That's quite recent as well, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like really bad bullying. Like I, I got, like I, I learned to just not like take care. it. <laughs> you you yeah. try to get, take the moral high ground, exactly, right? Exactly. But I think sometimes exactly. it's easier said than done. And to a certain yeah. extent, it is going to affect you. And I think as an actor, you're very in touch with your feelings. Mm. So you know, it's it's like it's almost like a double edged sword because mm -hmm. you're so in touch. You are going to feel a certain way about it is going to affect you to, to a certain extent, even though yeah. logically you know that it shouldn't, right? Yeah, 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 of course. And uh, with the affairs, just because the, the role, like a pregnant girl, that, yeah. that the people didn't swallow it. <laughs> it was difficult for everyone to comprehend. Exactly. It is a bit taboo, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously. But then Kamalada, everyone was really, really supportive. You moved uh, swiftly <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kamalada was... Um, well, was light. Because, yeah, people used to watch it with their parents. And then so, like, it was really light comedy. And people used to, like, people were happy. And, and um, my friends were really, really supportive. Supportive. Well, I'm going to want to talk to you about the affair before we get to Kevin mm -hmm. Uh But first, because you, you do bring out a, re a really important point, which is the kind of role that you had to take on. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to be talking about. But first, we're going to head back to music. So I'm going to let the man continue talking about what he wanted to talk about before <laughs> he interrupted us. <laughs> okay. <Are> you ready? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Music for Egypt, Nile FM. Miley Cyrus and Flowers right here on Egypt's number one for music, Nile FM. We were bopping along to that, singing along. We're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, we were. 
We were talking about it as well. We were talking about the fact that it wasn't it. It, it was a response to Bruno Mars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like it the first minute that it that it came out? Yeah, I actually did. Did you clock on to it was her responding it to was, that song? Yeah, obviously I did. I love Bruno Mars. He's so amazing. She did that. She did that. She yeah. really did. <laughs> now, a little earlier on, before we went on a break, we were talking about the affair and your part in that. And you were telling me that during the filming of that, that's when bully, bullying reoccurred at school mm-hmm. because of the details of what your part entailed. Now, I want I want you to tell me which were the hardest scenes for you and which one was your favorite. Um, I didn't really have a spe- like a specific favorite one. But mm. the hardest one was my favorite one because um, the ones where we would scream or like the scene would start really um, with no emotion and then it would end with us screaming and stuff like that. It was it was the build very, up. Yeah, exactly. And and just getting to act with with Ustaz Khaled Nabawi and Ustaz Sali, it's it's just it's, it was just wow because they they're acting so good that they make you're acting better. Yeah, I so, get you. Uh, yeah, you're just, affected um, by them, and so everything is a little bit more organic, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then uh, even uh, Ustada Sadi, she just reminded me of my mother. You know, when mothers scream and stuff, they, she actually reminded me of that. So I, I could see my mother through her. Yeah. And it was really interesting to act with her. Same thing with Ashkhan Nabawi. His acting is just phenomenal. Like, yeah. I learned so much from him, and his acting is just... How I don't know how to explain it. It's just, wow. <laughs> how did that part come about for you? Like, w- did you have to audition or did w- or did someone ring you up and, re- and be like, you know what, there's this part and we think you'd be great for it. How did that, how was no, the process? I, I, I did audition. I did audition and I was really happy because uh, when I got the role, because it's a role completely different from the other roles that I've played. And uh, I've always done the role of the, the annoying girl with her parents and stuff like that. But I never did the, the annoying girl, but pregnant. And, yeah. and st- like, I love roles that don't have anything to do with me and obviously uh the cake does not have anything to do with me so uh, <laughs> you're like no i'm not pregnant i'm not like <laughs> her at all no yeah, exactly but it was really fun to play i'm really curious when you auditioned which scene did you audition was it an actual scene from it or was it just something random do you remember i actually, I actually do not remember at all i do so many auditions that i completely forget them i get you yeah i do so so many auditions but uh, so I don't really remember. I think that's a bit part, a big part of acting, isn't it? That people don't actually realize that there is an audition process, and sometimes you get it, and sometimes you don't, and exactly. that can really kind of like be difficult, you know? Exactly. Because any everyone just sees the end result. Mm-hmm. Like, how have you dealt with, it, with with auditioning? Do you have a process that you like to go on, or like is a, a particular method? Well, when I was little, I did my first audition and I got my first role, mm-hmm. and so the first time that I got rejected was pretty harsh on me and uh and uh, but now i've learned to just i've been doing it for a long time audition so like i've learned to just like move on i do an audition i forget about it i do an audition i forget about it and if they call me back it's great they don't like just move on move on <laughs> yeah just move on she just says on. i like how cool that is <laughs> i'm gonna ask you a few more questions i have a few more i i realize that you are a multilingual person we're talking english we're talking spanish we're talking french as well as arabic and i'm very impressed because i thought i was great with just being bilingual but no <laughs> apparently i fall short next to you <laughs> but that led on to a little project uh, well it's not a little project at all but a project that is very very interesting that i want to be talking to you about but first we're going to head back to some more music are you ready yeah here we go music for egypt nile fm still in the nile fm studio with lena sophia bin hamen and we are talking about her career in acting now i know acting is not just the only thing that you do a little birdie bought me because i stalked you um a little birdie <laughs> okay <laughs> a little birdie tells me not myself um that you sing yeah, I love singing. I can see the look on your face. Don't worry, I'm not going to pressure you to yeah, sing on the spot. <laughs> they always tell me that. They're always like, you sing. Yalla, sing. <laughs> it's like, you know, when mothers do it as well. Like, I remember growing up, my mom would be like, my daughter, she dances really well. Zainab, dance. Oh and I'd be God. like, mom, I don't want to. And then she'd give me like that glare, like that look. And you that, have to? And you know, if you don't dance to her drum right now, yes. you are in so much trouble oh when God. you get home. So you'd be like, hmm. Especially, <laughs> no, especially if you have like a, a, a hangout the, the next day, she's going to be like, yeah, you're not going to go out with your friends if you don't dance, if you don't sing in front of my friends. I know, it's just like it's emotional blackmail. That's what I call it. She can hear me now. <laughs> Mom, 
<laughs> don't do that like <laughs> don't don't i am a product of that as a but old age it affected me more than I'm it should i'm a victim i'm a victim i am a victim oh, no, no, no. but I, i'm not going to do that to you if you want it that's a different ball game but i'm not going to tell you to you're like no zainab okay no, moving on <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm no, yeah, it. I love singing and I love dancing. Do you kind of feel like that's something that you want to pursue down the line? Yeah, of course. At some point, I, I one of my dreams is to do a song or something. Do you want to do a musical? Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be great. Right? That'd Just be like the idea in my head. I kind of feel like when someone dances and they sing and they have like all these different like outlets when it comes to perform performing arts. I think a musical is the best way yeah, to kind of like is. be able to do all those three and put them together in yeah, one thing, yeah, right? Yeah. It'd be great. It'd be a dream. It's a dream. If there was like, a, do, you, do you know your musicals? Uh, not really. I don't really, it's like, it, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. I, I think mean, it's the, yeah, it's that's fair enough. It's just the cliche. The, the, yeah, the, there was Cats. Yeah. There was... Les Mis. <laughs> Les Miserables, yeah. Oh yes. my God. There was that as yes, well. Of course, if you could choose one. one that you'd want to be a part of, which one would you go for? Definitely Les Miserables because I think my, my dad French. would be very happy. The French yeah. would work. <laughs> yeah, my dad would be very happy for me to be there. Yeah, It's also a really cool musical as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a very powerful one. Is the dream, right? Because being said, you're talking about the whole French thing, recently you have taken part in a French movie that was uh, that was actually shot in Morocco, if I stand yes. corrected. Now, I understand that you spent about, what, three to four months in Morocco shooting uh, this? No, actually, I, I, I stayed a month. A month? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. A little bit less than three, four three months. Three four months, <laughs> yeah. Imagine. But that was the first movie that you've done that's in French. Yeah. Now, how was that experience? How did that happen? Were you called up? What Did, did you audition? What was going on? What's the story there? I understand that it's a thriller and it's called The Story, right? Yeah, and it's a, it's a horror movie. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little about it. <laughs> and tell me about I your part. I out of my comfort zone. Uh, basically, yeah, I auditioned and then I had a couple of Zoom meetings with the director and uh, no no they 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 chose me <laughs> nice and, uh, and um i was not really scared because like i'm the horror of the movie like i'm the one who's scaring people not okay. people scaring me uh so uh but I, I was a bit stressed because it was my first time um acting in french yeah uh, or acting in any other language apart from arabic and like today, you know, I'm I'm scared because of my first interview in English. It's okay, it's okay. I mess up all the time. Oh, I have yeah, I've oh already God. told you I mess up all the time. It's okay. I mess up all the time. I feel you. I probably messed up like five minutes ago. So. It's all good. No one noticed. Uh, okay. <laughs> as no. long as they didn't notice, we're all good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I understand as well that it was shot by like uh, like phone cameras and a GoPro. Yes. Is that right? Yes, it's it was a, a really really big project, and I and I I wasn't um. I didn't know that it was capable to do such a big project with only uh, phones and um, and GoPros, but it was uh, it was really interesting to film and um, yeah, I, I'm I'm really happy to be part of When's it. When's it out? It, it oh, it's already out. It was it's out in out. February. Nice. I'm gonna check yes. that one out. <laughs> Got more questions on the way for you, but first we're going to head back to some more music. you got Bruno Mars. We were talking about how you like him. Yeah, I love him. Yep, just the way you are. Coming up next. Yeah. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. Right, so we're at this point where I really want to ask you, I mean, we were talking about the fact that, you know, you did a movie. Is the dream to go international with you doing a French movie and being bilingual, well, more than bilingual, multilingual. multilingual. <laughs> Is the dream to go international? Yeah, of course. I do audition for international projects. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, de it definitely is. Uh, do you feel like dream. the audition process for international projects is any different from here? Or do they differ in any way or are they the same thing? Yeah, it is It is different because um, the, the, the auditions, like the international auditions, I have to film myself. Yeah. Uh, but the the, <laughs> the ones I'm, in Egypt, I just I'm go right there. there. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and you have someone to explain to you. It's not just written stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, definitely, um, definitely it is different. In all the roles that you've played to date, which one's been your favorite? Mm, that's a good question. I don't really have a favorite role, mm. but I think Kamil al Farida, yeah. uh, her role was like, it has a really uh, special place in my heart. Because I, I actually studied that role a lot, and her she's a character, she's very different from me. And yeah. She's uh, and I when I was reading the the the, the script, I I saw a lot of 
girls that I knew in uh, like you could her. relate but not exactly. in a sense of you her but in, exactly, in a sense of saw. people that you've met yeah exactly and and I I, I, I now I walk down the street and like m- mothers they just stop me and they're like you know you're exactly like my daughter you're exactly like this the daughter of my brother you know like they 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 so many little girls just related to her and yeah. uh sometimes I talk about Farida and I just start crying because I actually love that girl like I, I, I think sometimes you can her. fall in love with the character yeah can't and you? I actually feel like she's not she's not me like she's like someone in your my life. child exactly like I love your her. baby exactly, that kind of thing exactly is it it do you think a big part of it was the behind the scenes and the kind of like you know the the atmosphere it was in the shoot and everything like that? Do you think that takes a, a like a part of it as well? Yeah, obviously for four months for four months I actually felt like I was her. Yeah, and uh, I actually like made my Arabic a bit worse for the <laughs> uh, worse for the for the role. And yeah. after I finished, my Arabic was still broken, but I had to fix it. So oh, that's honey. what I did. Oh, honey, um, the struggle was real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, um, individually, the, the actors don't have anything to do with the characters that they're playing. Yeah. But we, we bonded exactly like the actual characters. How bonded. do you switch off? Like, do you have a method to switch off from the character? I don't think it really switches off. I think it, she's, she's still there. But yeah. I just like lower the volume. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's a nice quote. She's still there. I just lower the volume. Exactly. That's she, perfect. They never leave. Characters never leave. Who are the actors or actresses that inspire you? Like, who do you who do you like to watch? Who do you kind of like, whether here or abroad, whichever it may be? Uh, I'm scared to start naming people and then I forget some. But I think uh, Amina Khalil is up there. I really like love yeah. her acting and uh, her her. Uh, all the projects that she uh, like she does she does do, they're yeah. really interesting aren't they're they they're really interesting and they actually have like a message behind them they really do yeah. I, I've got to agree with that exactly so like I really like Amina Khalil and I really like Ahmad Malik I've been talking about him today a lot I really love him like a lot I, I love, love him his too acting. I love him too <laughs> Ahmad Malik if you're watching uh, yeah. all the love okay all, let's all not the love, let's like, not do the, the hearts it's, it's, <laughs> then it gets a bit cringy I've got to stop that <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> now, I know there's a lot of people, young people that are listening right now. And there's mm-hmm. some people that want to pursue an acting, acting career. Now, if you were to give someone advice, what advice would you give? Um, I think uh, patience is up there. I think it's cliche, but it's actually real. Um, be patient and uh, and work hard. And um, talent is just not enough. You actually have to work and 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 uh, every day when you're free just like try to learn something new and uh, a new language a new song <laughs> dance i don't know um whatever it may be exactly. whatever works for you just to, to add stuff to your resume and add stuff to your personality and yeah that's it and if you were to describe your career so far in a sentence uh a sentence that's a good question uh oh Oh my god! No pressure. I need to think about it. I feel like I put you under pressure now. (laughs) I think it's like unbelievably therapeutic and fascinating. Nice. I'll take that. (laughs) Unbelievably therapeutic and fascinating. I am. I. I, I've got to. I'm I'm inclined to agree with that because I kind Mm -hmm. of feel like you've achieved so much in a short space of time and at such a young age Mm -hmm. that I think it's really commendable and that is fascinating. It really is and. I'm looking forward to seeing more of you. Are there any future projects that we've got to look forward to? Uh, yes, there is a movie uh, called The Hassan and Masri. I don't really know when it's going to come out. But, but we're going to have to keep an eye out exactly, for it. Exactly. Exactly. It's with uh, Ustaz Ahmad Hatim, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to wait on that. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show today. I really can't tell you how much fun I've had. Yeah, it was really fun. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> have a good one. And I hope to see you again. This is not going to be yes, the last time. Yes, obviously it's not going to be the last time. All right, we're going to go TikTok or do something right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's some music for you in the meantime. <laughs> okay.